The Mass begins when the priest prays in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As, we do, as he says this, we all make the sign of the cross. It's something you've probably done instinctively for years, but it all means something. Even the way you hold your hand means something. Now, in the West, we hold our hands like open hand like this because the open hand is a sign of blessing. It's a symbol of blessing. So we, in a sense, bless ourselves. In the East, it's really interesting because what they'll do is they'll hold their hands with these three fingers together, the two fingers and the thumb together, as a sign of the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and these two fingers down as a sign of God's, Jesus' full humanity and full divinity. Again, it all means something. When we make the sign of the cross itself, we're reminding ourselves of at least three things. The first thing and the most obvious thing is that God is a Trinity. So we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, reminding us of like this key core belief in our faith. But even more, when you trace the sign of the cross on yourself, what you're tracing on yourself is your worth. It's your price tag. You can ask the question, how much are you worth? Are you worth a million dollars? Are you worth a billion dollars? Well, the sign of the cross is your price tag. It's how much you are worth. You are worth, according to God, you are worth his very life and his very death. As often as you make the sign of the cross, you're claiming your price tag. The last thing is this. You know, so many people kind of lose their story in life. They don't know why they're here in life. They don't know the meaning of life. Well, there's this old book back in the last century called the Baltimore Catechism. And in it, it asks a couple questions. And the first question is this. Who made you? Well, the answer, God made me. But the second question goes to the heart. And the question is, why did God make you? The answer is God made me to know him, to love him, and to serve him in this life so as to live with him forever in the next. As often as you find yourself kind of not knowing the meaning of life or not knowing does your life have a purpose or do you have a story, you can make the sign of the cross. And it reminds you that you're here for a reason. You're here to know God, to love him, and to serve him in this life so as to live with him forever in the next. That's all wrapped up in that sign of the cross.